Okay, so I think one of the biggest mistakes you can have is having certain expectations from a relationship and being disappointed if that person doesn't meet those expectations. And sometimes these can be really bad, like really bad expectations. Like you expect the guy to start combing his hair more, ex- expect him to cut his hair. Mm-hmm. You know, like there there are certain things you can't change about somebody. And if you're trying to change someone, you don't really love them for who they are. You love them for what you want them to be. And if you set those expectations, it's not good. It's like, that's more on you. You don't value the person that you're talking to or you're trying to be in a relationship with right you expect them to work out more you expect them to go on a diet you expect them to send you messages every day saying that they love you every day you know these are things that certain people are not naturally good at or certain things they can't really change about themselves there's such a thing as improvement people can self-improve if you want your guy to improve in certain ways of dealing in a relationship then that's okay but if you have these expectations and you expect him or her to perform and they don't meet that then that is a very selfish thing yeah in my opinion to think about Mm -hmm. so that is a big mistake again quoting my same friend this is one of her biggest problems because everybody she tries to date she always has these big expectations and the worst is that she gives so much expecting all that in return Mm -hmm. so she is giving with that condition Mm -hmm. so it's conditional exactly it's like okay i'm giving i really love you but then why aren't you doing the same for me Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah when you love someone there's a difference between love and desire when you love someone you don't care about what that person gives you you just want to give that person agree but desire is you want to take from that person you know you need that person you want to take what they can give you Mm -hmm. so there's a big difference so if you're just feeling lustful or if you're feeling like you want to have a fling then you know i'm not going to tell you how to go about that but if you want to be with someone and take that relationship seriously i recommend being as giving as possible without expecting anything in return yeah dude just be generous like just give for the sake of it i mean like give because you want to yeah like j- just give for you okay i have a I have an example um so my friend gave something to the person she was dating and in a way she said that she she wasn't expecting anything back but even if she wasn't like expecting something material or the way i saw it she was expecting a reaction you know like i'm giving this to you uh, in hopes that you see that i care so that you make a move something something and i was telling her that dude just just give it you know like honestly giving is for the giver like it's for the feeling that you have when you're giving Mm -hmm. but once that gift like parts from you that's where it ends exactly i agree i agree so there are times where we give and when we don't get what we expected we kind of like shut ourselves down and say like okay we're never gonna do that again that was embarrassing that was a mistake i never should have done that i think like my advice for your friend is if she's gonna give don't expect in return because honestly it's the gesture of giving that should matter sometimes it's it's like lifting off a weight in your chest a perfect example is valentine's day many people in valentine's day they give chocolates or they give cards or they give flowers to somebody that they like it's a common thing now do you truly expect that person to just say okay i'm gonna date the first person that gave me chocolates no some girls they receive multiple flowers and multiple chocolates from various suitors right Mm -hmm. And some guys, too, receive a lot of gifts from girls as well. Although, I think it's more like guys to girls. Anyway, you don't expect that person to date you. You don't even expect that person to say thank you. Because in the end of the day, you're doing it because you like that person. It's a simple gesture of, I like you, this is for you. So, treat it like Valentine's Day. You know, if you like somebody, you give somebody that thing. And you don't expect anything in return. Recently, it was Christmas, and uh, I gave... Danny a gift that I was working on for like a couple of days and my approach wasn't like okay I want her to react this way my approach was more like crap I hope she likes it that was it <laughs> that was my only approach so see so it wasn't like I expected her to react a certain way and to and love it a certain way in fact in fact honestly the beauty of me giving that gift was she completely exceeded my expectations her reaction was like whoa and i was like huh she loves it that much she likes it that much so i was so happy i was really so happy in the end because i really didn't expect that reaction and you know in the end it was it it felt more genuine Mm -hmm. everything was like genuine and i felt more fulfilled 
with the gift I gave. So do not give things expecting something in return. In fact, just don't expect things. Just give and things will flow naturally. If somebody loves you and they see all the effort that you put in and they truly, truly, truly care about you, then they're probably going to think, okay, I'm going to put in that same amount of effort. But if it's not natural to them and you expect them to do the same, then it's not going to work out. I'm sorry. You have to lower your expectations to like the bare minimum. If you guys want to check out the full episode, click the link on the screen or head on over to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever podcasts are available. Thanks for listening and we'll see you soon.